we have our application up and running over here. So whenever I'm clicking on one of these events, for example, the first event, our URL, if you observe, it's it's navigating to slash one. And similarly, for second event, slash two. So till fifth event, that is fine. So if I'm clicking on the fifth event, it is uh, navigating to slash five. This is fine. But what happens if I am trying to pass the URL where the event doesn't exist? For example, I'm passing slash six. You can see that date, time, price, and address, we are not getting any value over here. Why? Because we have not specified any event specific to slash six. There is no sixth event. So we are getting this page. This is this is problem, right? We have to handle this. We should not display something like a blank on our application. So to handle this, what we'll do in this video, let's create a new component that is errors component, which will handle whenever I'm going to, whenever I'm navigating to the event, which doesn't exist, it will display a message over here stating that this page doesn't exist. Please navigate to some other page. Okay, page you are looking for doesn't exist. We are going to display the message over here. Let's see how we can implement that. Okay, let's switch to Visual Studio Code. So inside Visual Studio Code, let's create a new folder inside app that is errors. Inside this errors folder, we'll create a new component errors.component.ts. Okay. So inside this component, let's create the basic skeleton required that is we are going to import the component from component from angular core okay and we we'll, we are going to decorate with at the rate component decorator this is normal for every component which we are going to create in angular okay then we'll export this class export class what is name of this let's give it as errors component Okay, so now here I'm going to provide a property that is template, which will display an error message. Okay, here inside template, I'm going to specify with h3 and some class. I'm going to apply that is, I'll specify this name as error message. Okay. And here I'm going to display as 404 page not found. Okay. And I also want to display with class error message. Here I want to display page you're looking for doesn't exist. Looking for doesn't exist. Okay. Now for this H3 and H4, I'm specifying class as error message, right? So we have to provide error message implementation. That is, we have to apply styling by making use of this class name. Okay, let's do that by providing here styles. Here we have to pass an array. And inside this array, we have to specify what all the styles we want to apply for this H3 and H4. Okay, because we are providing the class name as error message, right? So we have to make use of this means if you are using class, we can specify styling by make use of dot operator, right? Dot error message. So dot error message here, I'm going to specify the classes which I want to apply. Okay. Let me align this properly. Okay, here for this error message, I'm going to display with some margin, margin on top, 50 pixels, then font size, 40 pixel, then text align. I want to align this text to center. Okay. That's it. So these are the styles which I'm going to apply for this class. Which class? That is error message. Where I'm going to specify over here. This message has to be displayed with this styling. Okay. Here, that's it for this class. That is errors.component.ts. Now the next point what we have to do, we have to include this 
component as part of angular app.module.ts because we have to register and we have to say to angular that we have created this component and make use of this component so we have to register inside app.module.ts let's do that so here inside declarations are let's include errors component errors component okay it got imported successfully now two things we have done we have created a new component we have registered inside app.module.ts so what is left out so to navigate to this component i have to provide a routing right i have to provide where exactly it has to navigate to whenever i am specifying a wrong id right so i have to specify this inside routes.ts routes.ts we have to specify a new path for this component that is here we have to specify path okay i want to navigate to 404 what is the component respectively which we have which we want to associate for this navigation that we have to specify over here okay so errors component okay let's import this errors component that's it so three things we have done so far first thing what we did is we created a new component that is errors.component.ts by creating a new folder inside app okay we have specified some messages over here that is 404 page not found and page you are looking for doesn't exist these messages i want to display on our web page whenever we are navigating to an id which doesn't exist right so and we are whatever the components which we are creating inside our application it's our duty to inform angular that we are registering this component so we are registering this component inside declarations array by passing errors component okay after this i have to specify to angular where exactly i have to navigate to whenever i am making use of this component that we are declaring inside routes.ts here we are specifying the path and respective component associated with it that's it so we have made the necessary changes now it's time to see the application how exactly it's running okay let's flesh flesh this out and let's clearly run the project again by making use of npm space start okay, this command So our application is getting compiled. It's building the modules. So it got compiled successfully and hosted on localhost colon 4200. So let's open this and let's see how it works after we introduce errors component.ts. Okay. Let's open this link. Now, if you observe, these are the events which we created before. By clicking on this event, it is navigating to respective event ID that is slash one, slash two okay and finally the fifth event slash five okay now suppose i am going to provide slash 404 okay in this case whatever the errors component which we created so far that is event slash 404 it has to navigate over here and it has to display the messages suppose if i am going to provide for example 67 okay it is showing blank page right but exactly what should happen it should navigate to 404 component and it has to display a message over here let's do that so what has to happen whenever i'm navigating to 404 that is we have provided path as 404 errors component so whenever i navigate to for example 404 it should display this message right so it is getting displayed 404 page not found page you are looking for doesn't exist this message is displaying successfully that is fine but when we have to navigate to this uh, page, whenever we are going to provide an ID which doesn't exist, for example, if this is the main event space, that is all events, this is the main page, whenever I'm specifying an ID inside my URL, which doesn't exist, for example, slash, we have five events, right? I'm going to provide slash 42, for example. At this stage, whenever I'm passing this URL, that is 42 ID, which doesn't exist, that message has to be displayed. But currently what we are doing, we are just passing it here by providing slash 404, it is displaying this message. This message has to be displayed whenever I am pro providing an invalid ID. That we can guard by making use of route guards. Okay, we have created this page, that is fine. But whenever we are navigating to invalid ID, this message has to be displayed. It has to navigate to slash 404. That we can uh, implement by making use of route guards. We have this properties that is can activate can deactivate we will make use of these properties and we'll implement 
route guard in our next video okay thank you so much for watching this video guys please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos